Hello everyone, I am here today to do a tag video and it has been such a long time since I've done a tag video and this one has actually been a long time coming. I was tagged to do it about a month ago by Daniela at Daniela in Prague whose channel I will leave a link to in the description down below. Please go and check her out, she is super super sweet and this tag has been such a long time coming and I am a little bit late to it because it is of course the spring reading book tag and scarily we are heading towards the end of May now so we're kind of edging into summer I'm gonna say um, so some of the answers to these questions may be a little bit more summer based rather than spring um, but anyway without further ado I'm just gonna get right on into it so the first question is what books are you looking forward to reading over the coming months so the next book on my TBR that I am super, super stoked for is Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. And I feel like I've already talked about this book quite a lot on my channel and I've not even read it yet. So this is a spooky mystery kind of story that has influences from both it and Scooby-Doo. And that's pretty much all I need to know to be super, super interested in this book. So I am gonna be picking it up really, really soon and hopefully loving it as much as I think I will. I'm also really, really excited for a new Stephen King book which is coming out very very soon I think it comes out next week it's called The Outsider and that is one of his kind of crime thriller mystery stories in a similar vein to his Bill Hodges trilogy really really excited about that I've pre-ordered it so I think that's going to come to my house at some point next week I'm also really really looking forward to a new Ruth Ware book Ruth Ware is one of my favorite psychological thriller writers and every summer she brings out a super exciting easy to completely devour thriller and um, her new book The Death of Mrs Westaway comes out at the end of June I think so really really excited for that one. Um, I'm also really really looking for something a little bit lighter and fluffier and a cutesy to read um, so if you have any recommendations for me for that kind of book please let me know. Um, two chick lit authors that I really really love are Jenny Colgan and Giovanna Fletcher so anything in kind of a similar vein to them I would really really appreciate you guys letting me know about so yeah that is what I am most looking forward to reading within the coming months. The next question is what book makes you think of a spring and of course I'm going to say A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. So those of you who have read this book will know why it makes me think of spring. Um, the spring court is the court in the fairy realm that Feyre is first taken to from the human world. The spring court is Tamlin's court and pretty much the entirety of this first book takes place within the spring court. So that's pretty much why it makes me think of spring. I can't really think of another book that makes me think of spring in quite the same way that this one does so yeah the next question is the days are getting longer what is the longest book that you have read and apparently it is Stephen King's It and this edition is 1376 pages which is a huge huge number of pages before I read this I think the longest book I read was Les Miserables by um, Victor Hugo which is 1200 and something and I read that when I was like 17 as part of my French A level um, but I read this for the first time last year I actually read it twice over the course of 2017 and with no problems at all it is just such an amazing amazing book even though it's absolutely huge it doesn't feel as huge as it is it's just got so much in it it's the perfect blend of genres it's got horror it's got sci-fi it's got fantasy it's got thriller it's got coming of age it's got romance it's just got so much in it absolutely insane chemistry between these very very memorable characters this book will stay with you for such a long time after you've finished it and I actually can't wait to reread it again which I will definitely be doing before the next part of the film comes out at some point in 2019. So yeah, I will never stop recommending this book and please, please pick it up if you haven't already. Even if you are intimidated by the size, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get through it because it's just so, so addictive. So yeah, that is the longest book that I have ever read. The next question is, what book would you recommend to brighten somebody's day? And for that, I'm going to say Three Things About Elsie by Joanna Cannon. This is just such a beautiful story about the friendship between these two old ladies who have pretty much spent their entire life together. It is a gorgeous celebration of lifelong female friendship that is just so, so heartwarming. It's funny, it's quirky, it's absolutely adorable. I'm also going to recommend um, Ellen Oliphant 
Moment is completely fine by Gail Honeyman as another book that will definitely brighten up your day. There is a lot of sadness and darkness to that as well, but on the whole, it is just absolutely adorable and really, really funny and quirky. So either of those two books are great for brightening up your day. The next question is, spring brings new life. What book doesn't exist but you wish really did? Okay, so I'm going to say that I would absolutely love a Neville Longbottom and Luna Lovegood book. I just want to forget the fact that Luna went and married Rolf Scamander. I want Neville and Luna to have got together and had this crazy, magical, weird, quirky life together. And I know there's going to be loads of people recommending me Neville and Luna fan fictions and all of that. I want an actual book. I don't want fan fiction. I want that to have actually been a thing. So I just think that would have been absolutely wonderful. So I would love a Neville and Luna book. I would also really love a YA mental health book where it's not obvious why the protagonist has their mental illness um, because I always feel that with a lot of YA books that deal with mental health there's always something about the character's life like they've either suffered like a great loss of somebody close to them or they're struggling financially or there's a very tense relationship with someone they're close to and that seems to be the trigger for their mental illness and I would love to read a book where there's no obvious trigger because believe it or not mental illness can touch literally anyone something doesn't have to go wrong in your life for a mental illness to be triggered your life could be seemingly perfect and you just fall ill and I would love to read a book about somebody like that so yeah the next question is spring is a time for growth how has your reading changed over the last few years so I definitely read more widely in terms of genre now than I used to because um, I pretty much before I discovered booktube I only really read like Harry Potter and Stephen King I didn't really read anything else and then when I first started my channel I was much more into fantasy than I am now actually and now I tend to be more drawn towards um, thrillers and obviously spooky books I've always read spooky books because I've always been a massive Stephen King fan but I am definitely more drawn to towards psychological thrillers and also some kind of quirky adult contemporary as well um so yeah my reading tastes have definitely changed over time but I, I on the whole I just read more widely now and I think that's probably because of booktube um but even over the last couple of years my tastes have changed a little bit I'm much less in love with fantasy I do still enjoy the odd fantasy book or series but I'm much more into my darker realistic fiction than I used to be so yeah the next question is how is your reading going so far this year it's going really really well actually so far I've read 44 books this year out of a goal of 100 so I'm quite a way ahead of my goal I don't know whether I will increase it because I kind of feel that's going to put me under a lot of pressure to then meet that goal by the end of the year but I'm really really happy with how it's going I've enjoyed most of the books I've read so far this year as well so fingers crossed that is a trend that is going to keep going for the rest of this year but um yeah I'm really really happy with how my reading has gone so far in 2018 and the last question is any plans that you're excited for over the next few months yes I have some pretty exciting stuff going on um, over the summer I have got a Taylor Swift gig to go to I've got an Ed Sheeran gig to go to and they are happening within a week of each other so I don't know how I'm going to survive with all of the excitement and the hype for both of those it's going to be absolutely amazing um, also at the end of July I am going to YALC again which I go to every year the Young Adult Literature Convention which is part of the London Film and Comic Con so super super excited for that again this year and obviously if you're going to that um obviously I hope to see you there and obviously come up and chat to me and all of that kind of stuff um and also I'm hoping that I will be able to make a trip down to Aberystwyth in Wales at some point this summer as well that's where I went to uni and it's one of my favorite places on this earth so hopefully I will be able to get down there for a few days at some point this summer too so yeah and that is it for the spring reading book tag um do you guys want to do it I'm not going to tag anyone in in particular so obviously if you want to do it please feel free to I will leave all of my social media in the description down below I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you very soon for another video bye bye